r slash no sleep posted by you slash rajesh antony i couldn't understand what had happened that day at 3 33 pm 3 33 am a week ago i was sitting in the meeting room of my office for more than 45 minutes no not for a meeting but to speak with myself yes i have been wondering for years why i screwed up with everyone i have misunderstandings with my parents girlfriend office colleagues etc i gradually hate everyone i used to think why are human relationships always more complicated than science and tech what if i run away somewhere and be alone when i was lingering inside my thoughts i heard thunder followed by lights flickering i didn't care about that i saw the time it's 3 33 pm anyway it's time maybe other people are waiting for the room let me go i took the laptop opened the door and went out i was walking towards my seat but found someone sitting there she seemed new to the office i hadn't seen her before i approached my seat and said hi hello hello excuse me well this is my place she frowned and replied sorry it is allocated to me i didn't get her what but i didn't get any email regarding reallocation are you a new joinee i asked her no I have been working here for four years. And, are you a new joinee? She told me. What? I have been working here for four years, I replied. No, I haven't seen you, she replied. I was confused. Suddenly, Muthu Kumar approached her. I knew Muthu well. He asked her, any problem? She described everything. He stared at me and asked, who are you, Sur? Are you new here? I was shocked. Hi, mate, what are you asking? He said, Sir, I just asked if you joined today. Because you haven't been introduced to us. Hi Muthu, stop speaking like this, man. I am not in a mood for this prank. Sorry. Prank? What do you mean? We are just asking about you. And how do you know my name? Now, everyone turned their chairs and looked towards me. All their faces showed a single thing, who is this guy? I couldn't understand what was going on there. Hi, I am Kavin. Don't you people know me? Stop this nonsense prank. I am not in the mood now. Okay. Muthu replied, Sir, we have never seen you, and you have never worked here. I think we need to call HR. They called HR. HR Saucy came. She looked at me and frowned. Then she asked them, Any problem? And who is this man? Did he come to see any of you? Then where is his visitor card? I shouted, Hi Saucy, what is this? I need to upload the test build within two hours. Stop this prank show and let me work. Excuse me, sir. Behave yourself. Who are you first? They explained everything to her. She turned towards me and said, Sir, I think you have some mental imbalance and entered the wrong office. Please step out. Or else we need to push you out. I reached for my ID card, but it wasn't hanging around my neck like it usually was. And then I realized that my laptop given by the company had vanished when I left the meeting room. I stepped out of the office. What had happened now? Why none of them know me? As I stepped outside, I pulled out my phone to search for my friend's number, but it wasn't there. How was that possible? I searched for WhatsApp chat. There was nothing. What happened to my phone? Using my memory, I dialed his number, and he answered. Who is this? He asked, his voice unfamiliar. It's me, Kavin. Are you kidding me too? I replied, my voice trembling. He insisted that he didn't know me. I reminded him that we had been friends since school, but he maintained that I had never studied there. As I stood there, alone and confused, I couldn't help but wonder what was happening. Then I went to a nearby bakery to cool down. It was the bakery of my dad's friend. I entered the bakery and approached him. He turned to me and asked, What do you want, sir? I was shocked. His way of approaching seemed like he didn't know me. I asked him, don't you know me? No. Sorry. I don't remember you. Have we met before? I am the son of your friend, Manikaval. What? He indeed shouted. Hi, Monique doesn't have any son. No children at all. He lives all alone with his wife. I was jerked. No. Please believe that he is kidding. Sir, I am his son. What are you speaking? Well. Hi boy, sorry, mm. Are you his son by any bad means? Hmm. I mean, by any illicit affairs, hmm? Sir. Behave yourself. Why I need to hear words like this. Hi, 
I have known him for 30 years. He got married in front of me. I was at the wedding. As far as I know, he never had a child. I paused. I still remember the day when I was 10 years old, I got fits in a nearby woods of my village by eating some unknown fruit. He saw me when he was passing by and took me to the hospital. I left because I had nothing more to tell. I went to the nearby temple where I used to meet my girlfriend. I saw her there. She was walking slowly. I called her from behind, but she didn't hear it. She went and sat there. So, I went to her and tried to touch her shoulder. But suddenly she stood up, and mistakenly I grabbed her waist by saying, my dear. She immediately turned and slapped me. How dare you touch me? I told her, what is wrong with that? She shouted at me. Then she called some police officers standing there. My dear. You also joined the queue. They came and told me, we are going to arrest you. I told them, she is my girlfriend. She said, no. Then they took me to the jeep and took me to the police station and pushed me to sit on the bench. I tried to explain to them, but they didn't listen. After a couple of hours passed, the inspector came. He asked about me. He came near me and slapped me. Didn't you have sisters? What would you do if someone behaved like this to your sisters? I was silent. After three hours, the SP, superintendent of police, came. He is higher than the inspector. He came directly to me and asked, you are the who misbehaved with my relative. Before I opened my mouth, he kicked me repeatedly with his legs. In India, police brutality is a norm if you are a poor guy, though illegal. I lost my mind. His pistol fell when kicking. I took the gun and, shot him. Oh my god. What have I done now? In split seconds, the entire station surrounded me and pulled me to the floor, and everyone began to trample me. They handcuffed me. Then a van came. A military van. They put me inside the van. There were some people inside the van. One man inside the van asked me, Hi buddy, you shot a police officer inside the station itself. We should bow down before you. I fell to the floor and cried. I was a software developer a couple of hours ago. Now I am a murder accused. I am the one who has good contacts but now a man unknown to everyone. From outside, I heard a voice. Oh, time. It's 3.33 AM, yeah. Then I heard thunder followed by lights flickering. I was shocked because now I am at the meeting room. What is this? What is happening? How did I get here? Where is the van? I couldn't understand anything. I scratched my head. Then I saw the time. It's 3.33 PM. I am unable to comprehend anything. I took the laptop and went out. I was walking towards my seat but found the same girl sitting there. I was shocked. I approached my seat and said, Hi, hello. Hello. I was silent. What? She asked. I was silent. Does this happen again? What is the matter? Why are you standing like this? She asked. Suddenly, I heard a voice. It was Muthu. Hi, that is his place. He is hesitant to tell you. He is a dumb guy who is always hesitant towards girls. Everyone laughed. She stood up. Sorry, I am a new joiner. I came here to speak with Ganesh. Ganesh is the one who sits next to me. She turned to speak with Ganesh. Oh God, what is happening here? Everything looks normal now. Everybody knows me. So then, what happened until now? Was I in a dream? Yeah, it was a dream. Maybe I became schizophrenic and dreamed. Thank God. Then I sat on the seat. I shouted again. Ouch. Everybody turned. What happened, man? My entire body was in pain. I pulled up my sleeves and saw the swellings on my hands. My back was in pain. And even my legs. One of my colleagues noticed, Hi mate, why are your lips bleeding a bit? Another one said, And it looks like someone slapped your cheeks. They're red. I got these from the police beatings. What? If it was a dream, then how did I get these injuries in real life? So, it was not a dream. It was real. But, how? I am now here. Even the clock time didn't change. But then, when and where did it happen? I told my colleagues I fell. They told me to take leave and go to the hospital. So, I took leave and stepped out. I got a call from my girlfriend and my friend inquiring about my health. A week passed. Most of my wounds were healed. Still, I couldn't understand anything. My name Kavin, a Tamil language word means allure. But I am losing it. Because, each night, the flash of the day recurs before my eyes whenever I try to calm myself. Specifically, 
the slap from my love and the murder of the officer. Whenever I see my girlfriend or see a police officer, I feel like I am taken back to that day. I used to think, did the universe conspire against me or did the devil test me? When scrolling on Reddit, I found this subreddit. Sharing my trauma here.